guys, so I wanted to check in with you. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. I have been busy with doctor appointments and getting back on my routine at home, but I know I've been slacking and I'm sorry. I wanted to let you guys know that I'm keeping up with my appointments. Um, I'm not doing as well as we have hoped. I, half of me feels like I might need to go back another time. I really slipped, but I do have my nutritionist and my therapist, my medical doctor, uh, my pulmonologist who I saw yesterday, a uh, cardiologist who I've been seeing, um, and everyone's been trying to you know keep me afloat and I think the only one who isn't trying that hard is me um, it's a lot harder than I thought the honeymoon phase of being home feeling like a million bucks coming off of you know a lot of eating a lot of sitting around getting back into the stressors of life, having different stressors that I did not have when I was away that I have here. Uh, I think it all came to a head for me. And unfortunately, I wasn't prepared for it. So I'm being honest with my team and I am definitely gonna you know, try to really get a hold of this myself, but I know at the end of the day, the only one that can change anything is me. So I really need to make some decisions and quick. I found out that I have COPD. I am a smoker and I have been for a very long time. So I have one cigarette left and it will be my last cigarette, as well as my vape, uh, which I picked up uh, that habit in treatment actually and that as well means that my energy drinks will be going um, off to the side too because they go hand in hand just kind of like a, you know when you go out and drink you smoke or vice versa that's how it is with energy drinks for me so um, I'm a little shocked because I, I feel like I I am a little young for that, but I have been smoking and I have not been good to my body and it's catching up with me. Uh, they also found out that I developed a heart murmur. Uh, they found it in my, the last treatment center. So I'm having, I'm having that dealt with and I'm, they're doing tests and everything now to see where, which part of the heart and everything. And then as well as having two teeth pulled since I've been in treatment and having a hole in the back of my one tooth right now that as we speak that I need to go have fixed and I have an appointment for it is making it very hard to eat so I'm having the dental issue so I feel like I finally I think that was another part that played into it is at least for me like yesterday it really took uh, I really took a blow to my this motivation and my determination to get better is that now my my worst fears are coming true is that I always felt like I would get better and then I would have these permanent health issues that I that would still hold me back and I would have to deal with the consequences of but I thought that would be further down the line because uh, unfortunately when you're in your eating disorder you also are playing that I'm invincible card um, every hand so I, I guess I'm out of them. So I am trying to process it all. And, you know, I'm not having a pity party. I, I'm very well aware I've done it all to myself. I take full responsibility. I am just a little bit scared and uh, disappointed and let, I guess let down. Uh, it's very easy for me to get angry at my body for falling apart but it's you know unfortunately hasn't been that easy for me to respect my body and 
appreciate my body for all I've put it through and for it being so resilient all these years. But I, I you know, I'm not superhuman, so I'm learning that now. Unfortunately, it's a little bit of a reality check for me, I'll, I'll admit. So that's what's been going on. Uh, I wish I had a little bit of a better update for you guys, uh, but I'm not out of the fight yet, um, and I don't ever plan to be. I shouldn't say yet. I, I just mean, you know, I guess the other thing is I've been so afraid to admit it and so afraid to reach out for help because I'm so afraid of disappointing all of these people who are seeing me now and thinking, oh man, she's just had six months of treatment. Why, why are you still like this? And that's kind of another part too, is I don't understand. I thought, I, I felt like I was a different person in treatment and then I came home and my eating dis disorder voice got very loud, very fast. And I kind of thought it would happen, but I guess I didn't think it would prevent me from asking for help. I didn't consider that until I realized, you know, about two weeks ago that I need help and I don't know how to ask for it and I'm ashamed to ask for it and I'm scared to ask for it and I don't want anybody angry at me and I'm afraid of that. So it, um, my nutritionist was the first one today who I was very open with. I have to be open with my therapist. Last week, um, I was still in a little bit of a better place. It's just been this real last week and I haven't seen her in seven days that it has gotten a little difficult but I needed to really get it out and it felt right to do that um, it felt right to do that today with the nutritionist and uh, I know I have to do that tomorrow with my therapist so I uh, probably could take more than an hour but thankfully uh, she allows me to text her if I really need her so if anything gets missed I'm sure we'll be able to still discuss it via text anyway I just wanted to touch base with you guys um, as always I thank you all for watching my channel for tuning in and I just hope that I haven't disappointed you guys I, that's been another big part too is my not doing these videos is that uh, I keep waiting for the better day uh, the day that I can say well I slipped for a few days but it's been about two weeks that I've been that I've been slipping and so I figured it's been more than that that I've done a video so I might as well bite the bullet and let you guys in on on my lack of progress so anyway I will definitely touch base I'll touch base again this weekend I'll let you know how it went with the therapist I know I'm gonna have more of a plan as far as what to do for help do you see the that flashing I don't know what that is it's it was the beginning of the video and just a second ago uh, I, that's weird. Um, so I just wanted to, I guess, you know, bear my soul and you guys have been with me for all of this. So I am going to still take you along as long as you're willing to come for the ride. Uh, I guess I will talk to you guys in a few days.